good evening guys uh, in this video we will see how to draw the projection in the autocad software for a plane objects so take this question number 3 a circular plate of diameter 50 mm lies in a plane inclined at 45 degree to vp and perpendicular to hp so whenever inclination is given in the question so we have to assume that uh, there is no inclination that is it is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp uh, based on this condition we have to identify on which plane you will get the true shape okay so if you are assuming that it is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp you will get the true shape on the vertical plane so first we have to draw the true shape so go into the software click on the new option and do the basic settings units set it in millimeters limits 0,0420,29 which is the size of a A3 sheet okay now after setting the limit give zoom all now you have to now you can start uh, do the design okay f8 so tag 300 now you give the name to this reference line text so specify the start point uh, text height should be 5 angle of rotation 0 so this is x and this is y capital y and uh, this is above the line it is vp because we are drawing the projection according to first angle of projection so above the line vp below the line hp so now you will get the true shape above on vp means above the line you have to draw a circle for a diameter of 50 mm so it is asking radius specify the radius don't consider the uh, statement given within the brackets so you have to uh, consider the statement before the bracket it is asking you to specify the radius of the circle so specify 25 uh, circle is not having this uh, corners so we have to create the uh, corners by dividing this circle into some equal number of parts so go to the uh, before uh, dividing the uh, circles connect a line from the center to the circumference of the circle and then go here select polar array and select this vertical line enter and select the center point and give the segment to 8 okay. if you want 6 also you can do it with 6 okay. so I am uh, selecting and I am going to move the circle close to this uh, reference line not close like this okay the distance from this uh, reference line to this point the circumference point is not uh, given in the question so it is a random one you can take whatever the distance you want okay. so now to get the top view though this is the front view what are the whatever the uh, sketches or drawings you do on the vertical plane it is front view so to get the top view we have to project line from corners of the object Project line from all the corners. You can give the names to all the corners using the text command text. So I'm going to start here with A, B, C, D, G, and H. If it is a front view, use the letter without any hyphen over that alphabet. So if it is a top view, you put the letter and hyphen over that alphabet. Okay. So now we will get the top view by connecting the end point of the projected lines. So don't you uh, don't connect this with a single line. So here I put four lines. Okay, connecting end to end one end of the projector to the other projected line okay so now so to differentiate this line from this reference line what do you do now uh, increase the uh, thickness and also the color and one more thing is put a point on the corners in the top view okay type point uh, 
now it is asking to specify a point put a point on the all corners on the top view so i put a point but it is not uh, visible okay so go to utilities don't change the point cell okay default style is a point so we, it is not uh, visible whenever we put a point on the line okay so go to change the symbol style set the size in four set size in absolute units click okay now you can see we have the points now what is the question given now you come to the inclination part now the inclination is given at the 45 degree to vp okay if, if the inclination is given with respect to vp you have to mark it on hp okay uh, so before translating this line what we will do we will uh, give this names alphabet names to here for the corners on the top view also again use the text option start from here so a dash so the height is seems very big so we will go and reduce the height and come so text so specify the start point so height seems to be 10 so i'm going to change it to 5 and i will put it to 0 so a dash and this one so this one you are having two corners on the same line okay b and h so when you see from the top so you can able to see the corner h whereas the corner b is a hidden corner so hidden corner put it within the bracket so h dash uh, i entered it wrongly so again i am entering h dash comma within the bracket you put b dash and similarly the center point is a g dash is the visible corner c dash is the hidden corner for this one uh, f is the visible corner d is the hidden corner the last one is point e dash escape and i will delete this one okay. so if, if it is very clumsy so move one place it below the line So if it seems very clumsy, you can reduce the alphabet uh, height. Okay. So now I given four, uh, sorry five. So you can uh, reduce it to three or four. Okay. So now select all the points as well as the lines along with the alphabets, and select copy option. Whenever you select the copy option, it will ask you to specify the base point. Okay. Select E or E whatever you want. You can select. So I'm going to select E as the base point, click on the E. Now move on the same. So while moving, press F8 so that you can move on the same line itself. Okay. So you can ensure that you will moving on a straight line. Okay. So uh, move to the right and place the line wherever you want. So you have to place it in such a way that it should not interfere with its original line. Okay. So placing it here, press escape. Now what we have to do in the question, now come to the inclination part in the question they are given it is inclined at 45 degree to vp okay now we have to mark this inclination on hp so again select all the thing go to rotate option i select uh, a as the base point whenever you rotate on any object it will ask you to specify the base point so select a dash as the base point and now it is showing the c uh, see the cursor at the center that is an anti clockwise symbol Okay. so if you give the value in positive you give the angle value in positive it will rotate the line in the anti clockwise direction so in order for me I, have, I want to rotate the line in the clockwise direction so i have to enter the value in negative minus 45 degree so if you give plus 45 it will rotate in the anti clockwise direction so you will get this line on the beep okay. so while rotating see the cursor see the data cursor option how it is and then uh, you rotate it accordingly okay and then go to this angular dimension and check whether it is 45 or not so it is 45 now now take line and project from each corners in the vertical direction from all the corners
similarly from the front view also you have to project lines So once you projected lines from both the front as well as top view, now we have to mark the corners uh, on the intersections. So for finding the corresponding intersections, then you have to mark the points. So again, select type point. We start from uh, A corner A. This is this the line is common to corner A. So this line and find out the A line from front view. So both are intersecting here. Put a point. And now. B, okay, this line is B and this line is B. Okay. Now C, okay, this line is C. Next one is D, E, and this is F, this is C, and this is one. So while marking the corners, or be careful, trace the line correctly, and then uh, find out the intersection and mark, mark a point. So now, once you mark the point, use spline option. Start from A, this is A, B, C, D, F, R, C, H, and again B. So now, this is the projected front view. Go and change the color as well as the thickness. Now uh, go to this dimension and give the radius of the circle. Mention the radius, just 25. After mentioning the radius, at the bottom you write all dimensions are in mm. All dimensions are in mm. So after completing, so you convert it into PDF. So here click on this plot option and it will open a dialog box. You select this Microsoft print to PDF, A4, what to plot, you click window and you select the things which you want to, which want to get printed. Okay. So I'm selecting the entire thing. Select center the plot, landscape, check the preview. So uh, it is fine now. Okay. Now click. Okay. And save it. Okay, projection of planes, circular plate, incline to VP. So I will share this uh, PDF in my web personal website. So I will share the link to my website in the description box. If you want, you can download it. Thank you.